So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions. And you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, so guys and welcome to a brand new video and episode 2 of 0 to a million in 20 hours. The road to glory when we take a brand new fresh account and take it to a million coins in 20 hours spread across 7 days slash episodes. So uh, in the first episode it went pretty pretty well. We are 4 hours down but we've probably amassed about 80k. Uh, we've also started learning the shadow market which is really good and we've still got plenty of SBCs to help us uh, excel Ahead. Now in today's episode we're going to be showing you the shadow method we did yesterday. We're going to be showing you how you can use your market knowledge you gain from doing the shadow method to make a very easy simple method that you can maybe do on the web app, the companion app uh, or so on. And uh, we'll be doing some SBCs and we'll be doing or ending the episode off with probably investing all of our queens into some investments ready for uh, UCL market matchups tomorrow. So without further ado I guess we'll just show you what the, uh, the account's looking like right now. So we've got ourselves a few shadow deals. We didn't manage to sell on yesterday, uh, and then of course we've had uh, a bunch of stuff sell on. So that is, is the position of the account. What it is though, we'll start with a bit of shadow trading. Let's go and start that timer. So shadow trading is a game basically we did yesterday to make a lot of coins, but we're doing this and mixing it with another method today to uh, keep on making coins. Gonna set the uh, filter to 700 coin maximum bid, minimum by now 2k and throw shadow on. Now what you're doing with this is you are basically looking to get gold cards with a shadow on them for the same price they are without a shadow. So, for example, in Babu, let's say he goes for 3k without a shadow. He doesn't. He goes for uh, probably about 2k. But let's say he goes for 3k without a shadow. We'll basically be looking to buy him right here today for 3k with a shadow. Now, how do you not play yourself with a shadow? You basically just can just go through them one by one by one uh, on the market. Find the cheapest on the market. And then with a shadow, pre uh, add it to your transfer target. So once it sells on, you can uh, know it sells on for said price. Slash, you can just buy stuff. I just hope it sells on and basically just experiment with the market. Uh, so the likes of Milinkovic Savic, we know it goes for, there we go. We know it goes for about 8.5k, so we leave him. But yeah, basically what we do is you just sit here, keep pressing square and circle until a uh, good deal pops up. And the whole point and the whole learning curve of this market is that you just learn what players sell for, so then you can pick up some deals. Jimenez only goes for about 4k of a shadow, so that would be a leave. But uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do this. Probably even maybe go and pick up like 50k's worth of deals, then we'll go and show you guys what we managed to get. So we've gonna got ourselves a few deals. Only spent 17k so far, but uh, we'll show you guys what we managed to get. So we got a Sandro for 6.5, that gets thrown up there at 7.5. Uh, got Jimenez for 3k, that's gonna get thrown up for 4.3k, which isn't too bad. Uh, got a Lottie at 3, he's gonna get thrown up for 3.4. It's a bit of a miss buy, but again, we're learning his price. And Numbele bought at 2, I think we can throw him up at 2.5, again nothing too crazy on that. And a Rousselon got there for 2.4, he gets thrown up there for 3.7, so a decent little deal there on the Rousselon. But yeah, just shadow trading at the moment. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you guys how you can shadow trade. Oh, the timer isn't going. But the timer was going. So the timer was going there because uh, I thought it wasn't going, but it wasn't showing because I didn't click on the uh, tab. But what I'm going to show you guys right now is how you can trade uh, using the market knowledge that you've gained. So I've basically have gone and sold loads and loads of cards on with Shadow. And every single time I set a player on, I go and write down what price they go for. So what I've got right here to the right of me is a list of all the players I've gone and sold on with Shadow. Now, what I can basically do right now is go through this list one by one by one and basically see are there any deals. So rather than having to worry about sniping them, it's a very chilled method. It's something you can do on the web app. It's something you can do on the companion app. So all I've got to do is just go through this list one by one by one. And because I've sold them earlier, I kind of know what they all sell for. So for example, Arias with a Leverkusen card, I can go and sell for 3k. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to see, okay, is there a Arias with a Leverkusen card for 2k? And you could also look at bidding on them, but uh, I'm not the biggest uh, fan of bidding on the stream. And basically all you've got to do is go for a list one by one by one uh, of players that you've either sold on or what you can do is you can add them to your watch list, wait for them to sell on and then track the data. So Delir I can sell for 8.5k so that one at 8 wasn't too amazing. Uh, this works a lot, lot better with some of the more expensive cards um, because the snipes way less frequently. Up Meccano, no deal on that one. 
So for example, we've got Koke right here. We've seen Koke sell on for 7.4. Is there going to be any good deals on Koke? There was one at like 6.4. We could have easily have flipped it, but nothing there. Let's have a little look. Milinkovic Savic, who I think we went and sold this morning, if I'm not wrong. Any good deals on him? Okay, so there could be some good deals on him because he's dropped a little bit, which means we could basically buy him, sell him on a fluctuation. Sadly, though, he has not dropped enough. Let's have a look at Thiago. But uh, all you got to do is when you are doing the shadow method, write down what you sell them for, and then you can go and use that data to try and get some more deals. So probably I'll go through the list right now because you probably don't want to see me go through absolutely everyone. So I'll be honest, it didn't work uh, too well, but we have managed to do uh, something. Um, basically, I was just... I picked one player off of the list of uh, prices and just basically just kept trying to snipe him for cheap. So now that sells for 6k, so we've gone and picked up two here. I just basically was sniping him with Shadow for 5k or cheaper. So there we go, managed to pick up two right there, uh, turning in a 1.4k profit uh, between both of them. We've also had a few more sales, so... Oh, no, we did get some sales, but I uh, did get rid of them. But there you go. That's what we're looking at right now. A few novices, a few shadow deals. We'll continue picking up some of the more shadow deals. And then when we're low on coins, we'll go and complete some SBCs. So we got ourselves a few more shadow deals, uh, including this. Uh, Sandra bought for 6.5, going to sell for 7.5. This one bought for 6.7, going to sell for 7.5. Not an amazing buy right there. Uh, what else we have here? We've got two Tianis right here. This one at 2.1, going to get flipped up for 3. This one right here for 2k, going to flip that one over for 3. Uh, they've got an outer build for six and a beak for two. So I don't think the beak's a good deal. From my understanding, the outer build is a good deal. Let's have a little look. Outer build, outer build, outer build. Got in for six. Survey says. Do I want to say he's like a 7.2? Yeah, 7.5. Nice. We'll flip that for 7.5. Seven, seven, and the beak, 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 beak. Got for two. I don't even know if I'll get 2.5 for him. No, we'll have to uh, bait list him, which, once again, bait listing is when you list them with a minimum bid. Um, and that people basically are doing this filter that buy them thinking they're a good deal. Hopefully we can do it right here. So if I throw that for like 2.1k, even though he's only selling for 1.9k, someone doing that filter will not understand the price of him and they'll go and buy him. Like so. Go on. Go on, work in my poor favor. Don't tell me people on this filter have wised up. Oh, they might have. They might have actually have wised up. Yeah, they might wise up, but he should hopefully eventually sell. If not, we'll lose a few coins in that. Uh, what we'll do right now, we're waiting for a, a few things to sell on. We're going to do a advanced SBC. So finally, we've uh, managed to get the coins and we've gone and done this SBC. It's going to cost around about 10k and it's going to go and deliver us a 50k pack, which is something we could probably do because we do need some coins to catch up in the road to glory. You can also see we sold loads and loads of things on. So let's go and show you what we have gone and sold on. I might, have an, I might have an interesting pack, actually. Uh, I think there might be a pack I haven't uh, got around to opening. But four things sold on. Uh, the Alexandro got for either 6-5, sold for there. The Mistball, Jimenez bought at 3-8. The Van Der Beek, ooh, bait, tried a bait list, but that's uh, that's failed. What did he buy for? 2k, so uh, it's like a 500 coin loss. It's not the end of the world. And the Klossman has gone and sold on. So we're going for the rest on the relist. And let's go and see if we can. So that is the uh, negative to bait listing. Jimenez worked with a bait list. The other guy didn't work with a bait list. So, 50k pack. What are we going to get? Come on, give me a bit of a carry. Go on, give us a carry. Wouldn't hurt. The pack looks been awful so far. There we go. Belgium, CDM. It's just going to be Ansel Fitzel. It's not really a carry. Ansel Fitzel is literally a 3k player. Brilliant. Anything in there with Mr. Ansel Fitzel? Oh! Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes, there is indeed. Welcome, boys, to the Alliance. Not bad at all. Not goddamn too bad at all. Uh, the hard carry on the road to glory. How much, uh, how much are these, then? The boys. The carry. All right. So, chat, why would, you, why would you ever trade when you can just open your starter SBCs and get 50k from Ben Yedda and his mate Gareth Bale next? Imagine getting this, like, day one of FIFA. Imagine these are your day one of FIFA's, but, uh, and then Bale pops up for 18, but yeah, very, very nice. We'll go and get them sold on, and then that can, that can carry us to a lot of shadow trading, which, which is really nice, because that means now we have the sort of money where we can buy shadows, sell them on lazy buyers, uh, because we don't need the coins, so, hell yeah, hell yeah. So we got ourselves loads and loads and loads of deals, so, I guess we'll go for the Milinkovic Savic, 6.9, gonna go for 8.5. Digny going to go for 4. Saul, I think, goes for 4.5. Jimenez goes for 4.2k. And Diddy goes for 
Arthur goes for 4k, Guy goes for 4k, Asper Equator goes for 4k, Grimaldo goes for 4k, uh, Trippier, not too sure, Ali, I think, goes for 2.6, Manlas, I need to learn the price of him, uh, Zakiri, I think, goes for 3.2, Torreira goes for 3.2, Klosterman goes for 4.5, Endon Bele goes for 2.7, Cyprian will probably go for about 4, Kamara goes for 4, Klosterman goes for 4.5, other Klosterman goes for 4.5, and both Endon Bele's up at 2.7. So, some really, really nice buys right there. What we are going to do is we are going to try that other method where I said, because, of course, cards go and sell on, what I'm going to go and do right now is I'm going to go and write down the prices of these cards that I've gone and sold on. So I'm going to write Sandro, 7.5k Shadow. Alderweireld, 7.5k Shadow. Obviously, there's the Bale we pulled. Lodi, 3.4k Shadow. Up Meccano, 3.5k Shadow. And then I'm just going to go for the players one by one by one because I've got at least about 20, well, probably about no, 40, 50 players. See if we can get any deals via that rather than the uh, fifth night minute spamming method, which we're doing at the moment. So we got ourselves loads and loads of deals. So let's go and walk you guys through these right here. So we're starting off with Pjanic, who we got for 6.4. He's going to get sold for 7.5. These deals were all got because basically what I do is I write down what I sell. Well, basically, I write down what I buy the cards for um, and then just go through this list one by one by one. So what I do right now is I'll show you. This is basically what I do. So I would have sold Kamara with a shadow. Um... I would have sold Kamara with a shadow for 35, sorry, 3.4 and 4.5. So what I've done is I've basically gone through this list one by one by one. And if a Kamara pops up for 3.5, I'll go and buy him because I know I can sell him for 4.5. But I've basically done this with um, about 40, 50 players. And I've, this is basically part of the trading guide. Is basically I just write all these players up and then go through them one by one by one trying to get them deals. So that Kamara is just an example. But this is basically how I learn the prices. I just go put the player in. I write down what I've sold them for. And then I use that data. Uh, down the line to uh, you know literally just go through them and buy these one by one by one so the good thing with this is I can also tell you what they will sell for so let me get that timer running because the timer was meant to be running but I oh know it was running again it's just weird if I don't click on the window it doesn't uh, show it running down so Komen right there we can sell that at 7 Brozovic got for 3.8 you can sell that for 5 uh, Party we got for 11.250 we can sell those for 13 so there's a massive array of players but uh, all these players aren't too bad Brandt got for 3.5 going to sell for 4.5 uh, Matip got for 1.8, going to sell this for 2.6. And again, the reason I know what all these sell for is because I've traded with them in the last two days. So I kind of know what they sell for. Fernando should be a sell that for 3. Roberto is pretty good, going for 2, going to sell that for 3.5. Uh, Georgina got for 1.7, we'll go and flip that for 2.7. Well, so we have here Canales got for 1.9, going to sell that for 3.2k. Decore going for 2k, going to flip him for 3k. And finally, Tieni, who we went and got for 2k, going to flip for 3k. So let's go and show you guys what's going to sold on. Uh, and then how much are we sitting on? We're sitting on 19k. So I might go back to a little bit of shadow sniping um, and use those coins. Any far sales? Okay, just the man else we got for 2 1 and the Jimenez we got for 3 8. So not too bad. But yeah, we're going to do a bit more shadow trading and uh, show you guys some more deals we get. So we've got a few more deals right here. We've got uh, Milinkovic Savic right here at uh, 7. He's going to get sold up there for 8.2. Got another one here for 6.9. We're going to sell that up for 8.2. And uh, find you guys out for a Kamara at 3.8. We're going to throw that for 4.8. So a few nice uh, buys right there. Again, just got via the Shadow Snipe method. Because we're seeing back at about 7k right now, what we are going to be doing is using those coins to uh, go and complete an SBC. Guy, we got for 3k. Brant, you literally saw me buy for 3.5k under that method where I go through players one by one by one. And man, last we got for 2k. So some nice sales right there. But we're going to get underway with another advanced SBC. So, we've uh, gone and built another SBC, because I thought we didn't get carried enough by the last one. Let's go and do another one. Uh, this SBC ran across us 9k for a mega pack. Not too bad. Um, I think we've had a few sales. Nothing too crazy, though, so we might have to go and bank on a, another SBC after this one, because what we are doing right now is basically we're trying to go for a higher profit margin. So, basically, we're selling the players for more, but they're going to sell on slowly, and they might take a few relists. But there you go. There's a Zakaria ball for a 2-1 flip there for 3. So... I was going to see if the 35k pack can give us something, uh, give us a little bit of money maybe to help us with a bit more shadow trading. If not, we might get underway with yet another SBC. So, again, I still have no idea on the uh, what's a board, what is in a board, what is a what. I can tell you about that though, that is rubbish. German centre bounce, the best thing you can be. Oh, Ginner or Hum, it'll be Ginner or Boateng. Or no, it'll be 79 rated tar. Uh, golden rares, can't imagine they're overly expensive. So we're going to get lovely all my rares for contracts. Anchor will sell for a little bit. But uh, yeah, that is a pretty, pretty woeful 35k pack. So we're going to get that sold on and then we'll see if we have enough money for some shadow trading. So we've got a few more deals here. We've got a party here at 11. We're going to flip that for 13, which is decent. We've got ourselves an Ariat here at 2.6. We're going to flip that for 4. 
And we finally got ourselves a Pianisher at 7. We'll probably flip this for 8 too. Because he's a UCL, it's really weird. But you can sell UCLs with Shadow more than what you can sell the gold cards for with Shadow. So, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a strange one. And I would have bought that if I had enough money, but uh, I didn't. So, what we'll do right now, we picked up a few more deals with Shadow Trading. We've actually, had quite a lot of stuff sell on. So, let's have a little look. So that is it. After we bought for, bought for 3.2k, as a we got for two. Both the Klossmans, I think we got for about 3.8. And uh, Tar. So get rid of these uh, off the transfer list. And then what we'll do is do another SBC. So we've gone and done ourselves another SBC. Just we're waiting for some stuff to sell on. And actually, we've had a good amount of stuff to sell on. But yeah, very cheap. Little one right there. Just to go and boost and carry the uh, road to glory a little bit. Let's get this open. And then we'll uh, go and show you guys some of the sales we've had. Because we have had a fair few sales. Alright. What are you going to get today, game? It's that. It's that. It's a god rare. I'm kind of, I feel like I can start telling with how slow how it slows down. Could be Abraham, maybe. No, you get DNA, Hausenberg. We do get... Okay, he might be worth something. Uh, okay, no, it would have been worth a lot more last night when the uh, SBC was fresh and out. But should be able to sell some of that stuff on, though. Let's have a little look how the uh, sales are looking as well. Only two sales, so it would have been a big player. It would be one of the uh, Milinkovic Savics, right? Oh, no, it's Party. Brilliant. Bought for 11, sold at 13. Happy days. Uh, but, yeah, we'll sell that on and probably do a little bit more shadow trading. So, we've done probably the last SBC you might see for a day or two, to be honest. But, uh, there we go. We've gone and done the Give Me Five, which is, again, just one of the more generic, or one of the one more of the advanced ones. I can't speak. Happy days. That's the SBC done. So the reason this clock does keep glitching out because it is going down, but uh, unless I'm actually clicking on the tab, it doesn't show that. So if the clock ever isn't going down, more likely than not, it is. Just uh, I've not clicked on the actual, uh, what's it called? Like web browser, which has mean, as a result, means this doesn't matter. It, it, it's a weird one. Just now I'm not cheating you guys out. Okay, so it's going to be right mid Brazilian Rafinha. Who else could it be? Octavia, brilliant. Nothing interesting in that one. But here we go. We've got the rare Mega. Now, this one last time gave us diddly nothing. I think it gave us rubbish. I can't remember. We just we got like an 82, I think. I think we might got like Pacheo or something. Oh, it's England. Right back. Oh, imagine if that was Walker. Imagine if we had the hard carry Walker. But we can take it. Good old trips. Good old Trippier. Anything in there with Trippier? Dubilevec. Um... And nothing. Uh, a bunch of cam sent forwards. I wonder if they're worth uh, absolutely nothing this year. Send a forward a cam. Oh, that's worth absolutely nothing this year. Hunter Kensal. Oh, that's worth 1.6k this year. And uh, hey, this is a badge we chose at the beginning. Yeah, brilliant. So, pretty meh pack, but at least we're not going to get carried. Now we'll do probably a little bit of shan trading, and then we might get underway with the investment I'm going to do ready for tomorrow. So, to go and end off this episode, what we are going to be doing is uh, we're going to be picking up some uh, investments for UCL now. Tomorrow, we've got UCL Mikey matchups, um, which as a result means we're going to do a little bit of investing in some UCL cards. Now, if these UCLs are not needed for Mikey matchups, they will drop in price. But there is actually a way to go around this. Um, and basically, where the cards won't drop in price, even if they're not needed for the UCL Mikey matchups. And the way of doing this is buying UCLs for the same price as the gold. Because, for example, if you're going to go and buy a UCL for 1k, and the normal gold goes to 400 coins, and then the UCL isn't needed, well, then they're going to go and drop down to 400 coins because they're dropped to the same price as the gold because they're not needed. Whereas, if I go and buy a UCL who is of a gold non-rare who's worth 1k, so let's say Christiansen goes for 1k, and I go and buy his UCL for 1k, there's, he's not going to drop. Unless that gold Christiansen drops, that UCL has got nowhere to drop. So the safest way of buying UCLs, especially if I'm going to gamble and hold till after 6pm, which I might do, is going to be to buy the UCLs for the same price as the gold, so then there is no room for it to drop. Uh, which, again, if there is a big price difference, there is room for it to drop as such. So, that is um, yeah, that is going to be the plan. So, we've already picked up Rojo. Rojo right here is 1.2k. I can show you that Rojo, he's not quite 1.2k, but there's not much between... Um, oh, no, no, his gold card is 1.2k. But there's not that much between what he is now and uh, what that one is. But 1.3, 1.1, you can see he's kind of holding 1.2. Now, he is a little bit inflated off the back of yesterday, but there's not really enough for him to... Again, he could drop 100 coins, or if needed, he could go up to 3, 4k. So there's a great uh, risk and reward on it, because the risk is very minimal, because I'm buying these players for the same price as the golds, whereas the reward could be amazing, just like last time. So, what well, the plan of action is that I'm basically going to go and scout out loads and uh, loads... Again, we're having the glitch with the uh, clock, so don't worry about it not going down, but 
having loads and loads of uh, gold cards, oh sorry, UCL cards, who are the same price as their gold cards. So, yep, we'll go and show you guys, I guess, the investments in, uh, in a bit. It's post 6pm and uh, it's actually quite nice because that's drop UCLs, which means we can go and invest in a bit. Now, the idea is there's a bit of method in the madness behind investing in some UCL non-rares. Now, at the moment, every gold uh, centre-back is basically selling for about seven to 800 coins. Uh, at least from major leagues, at least. So if I go here to the Prem, these cards, as you can see, will be selling for about seven to 800 coins. If I load down to 700, you would well, be able to demonstrate right there. You know, there's basically nothing on uh, on the market. Head over to Liga and should be the exact same case. You know, not many on the market at 700. And we head over there to 800. Looking good. We head over here to the Serie A. So basically, as of recently, centre backs have been made very, very expensive due to a few of the SBCs. So as a result, gold centre backs are all expensive. So that means we can go invest in UCL common centre backs at 800 coins, all from major leagues. And it should be relatively risk free because they're all holding very good value. Anyway, so what we're going to do right now is just going to sit on this filter right here. And then any major league centre backs that pop up will go and pick up for 800 coins because theoretically they are very risk free. Because um, because all their gold cards are worth that anyway. We are going to wrap it up and call it a day for the likes of today's trading and investing. It's been a great day. It's been great SBCs. We've done some great, great shadow trading. Obviously, showed you uh, where I just was just going for a list of players one by one by one, trying to look for good deals, and that worked well. And we've ended it off here with picking up loads of UCLs for the same price as the golds, which means makes them a risk-free investment. So I've also went and picked up some rares. Uh, Florenzi here for like 900. Blind here for a K. Maguire's here for 1K. Again, Maguire's gold card is 1K. Therefore, if I'm buying him UCL for 1K, very risk free. Gonna pick up lots and lots of non rares here for 900 just because all the Prem, uh, sorry, all centre backs from major leagues are going for 900. Then if, if I head over Hazia, I can show you that the club is just absolutely stacked with uh, the UCLs as well. So all these are gonna be uh, coming into play either rising on the pre hype tomorrow or it might be that I hold it till 6 pm. Also, in terms of selling stuff on, gonna sold on the Milovinkovic Savix, the Pies, gonna sold on the Diddy. Loads and loads of cards. A lot of people ask me, why would you buy Komen with a shadow? I have no idea, but that's about two days in a row now. I've now sold him with a shadow. So loads and loads of sales. Shadow method is coming in through very, very nicely. As I'm a massive, massive fan of it. I know it's uh, sadly it's a little bit repetitive, but uh, because we're early game, I don't have a mad amount of trading methods that are as efficient. But so we've got loads and loads of deals to sell on. Get them listed up for 12 hours overnight and have them selling on. But yeah, it's been a great, great episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully it's shown you guys yet another trading method and an investment that you guys can still go with. Again, if you're getting UCL non-rares or UCL rares for about the same price as a gold, as long as they're under about 1.5k, you're looking happy, happy days. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the support on the first episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Second episode, we're probably signing off on about 250k after... Um, well, about seven hours. So we're only catch up of about 100k right now. And as you all remember, it's a snowball effect. First episode, I think we were catch up maybe about 120 uh, odd k. But now we're only catch up about 100, about maybe 120, maybe even 150, 200 odd. odd. But now we're only catch up a, uh, what is it, 100, 150 or whatever. So uh, yeah, not looking too bad. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in a episode tomorrow.